So, hi. Welcome to today. It's going to be a good day. It's now uh, 3.30 a.m. Get up pretty early. Uh, today is market day, so one sec, I gotta wake up. Yeah, today's gonna be a great day. I got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, here's the state of things. I've been alone in the woods a long time uh, with occasional visitors, but after years of uh, not having people, I'm gonna try and have people again, invite people who are uh, in tune with the goals and wanna work hard and, and uh, and make the bosque come to life again. Um, we've been, I've been, you know, improving spaces and figuring out systems and thinking. And uh, I've learned a lot having people in the past and now have people again. Uh, first one is Courtney. She's been here a week as of today. Uh, she arrived a week ago. And it takes a while to get to learn systems, but she's been settling in and we've been eating and learning how to be in spaces, she can find her way around, which is a big place, so at night, you know, something. And talking about how to work together. One of the things we're going to work on is video so that we can communicate the, the values and culture of the Bosque to other people. And this video is part of that. It's to show you uh, some ideas. And hopefully today, as we do things, we're going to talk about why we do things the way we do and uh, give you some good visuals, too. I've got my list, because uh, today is a special day. It's, it's market day in Oronga Recuerdo, Oronga. And uh, I don't have a lot of have to do. Mostly things are set up. But we have some things we want to buy uh, as supplies. And then there's some things I want to look at for for preparing for the future. Uh, you know, like I want to set up a little store here so people can get access to the things that they need. Because uh, town's far away and, and everything. So... First thing for me is I'm going to check in uh, uh, and see if there's any emails I need to respond to. And also I've got some videos we've started working on already that I'm going to try and edit. It's a good time of day to do that because there's no distractions. Everybody else is still asleep. Um, one advantage of getting up early like this is also that you go to sleep early, which is a good thing to do if you want to have a useful life. You know, what is it, uh, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise? Well, I don't know if that's true, but uh, certainly staying up late at night, you don't get a lot done. So, all right, well, I'm going to check in. One of the things that we're doing is documenting life here and sharing it. And so when you come here, you'll be doing what I'm doing. You're going to be learning how to, uh, and you can start practicing this before you come, how to document what happens to you, your thoughts and everything. You shouldn't ramble on for the next 20 minutes. Like right now, I shouldn't do that because then it's just too much footage and it's an editing problem. Um, this also is part of the kind of idea of almost an expanded consciousness, a way of sharing your thoughts with other people in your life. And this is a way for us to really get to know each other. I think in the way we live, uh, even though we're, we're communicating a lot, we're not always sharing very honestly. Um, a lot of people put up a false face. They try and look good and stuff. I think that's a mistake, at least in this space. Here we want to give ourselves permission to, to um, as we play with the ideas of different technology and ways of living, that we share that honestly with other people, dropping a lot of ego stuff. You know, we don't need makeup. We don't need to uh, speak in the most polished way. Will we get criticized for that by some people? Sure, but those people are irrelevant. We only care about the opinions of other creators, people who are, who are working hard themselves and understand that there's struggles in doing self-work and in crafting your life around you in caring for others. Um, so I think there's a lot of benefit to us to us doing that. And as far as any hater assholes out there, well, they're irrelevant. They just don't matter. And they are working through their own pain, I suppose. And we could have empathy for them. I'm mostly just going to ignore them because uh, I'd rather focus on the people who are positive and, and uh, working for good. Uh, but this is part of the strange experiment. And so have empathy with us, please, as we uh, uh, open ourselves up to you in an intimate way. And, uh, yeah, it's all a little adventure together. Don't ramble like I'm rambling now, though. Make sure everything you say is really important. Sort of. I don't know. We'll figure that out.
So first thing I'm doing is looking at applications to come here. Um, I no longer make the decisions about who comes here. I turn that over to somebody else. Um, and then I, I uh, take care of things once people are here. And there's a lot of uh, applications. We uh, have to be careful in how we make those decisions because, you know, it's really inviting someone into your physical space and home. So it's... it's uh, a little frightening, but uh, lots of cool people applying. Just, uh, yeah. And then the board, when they review those, they'll let me know who, who they think are good. And I have some influence as well. But they make the first pass. And that's partly so I don't get blamed for rejecting people. Because I can't take everybody. Right now, I could, I'm going to start having a few more, a few more, and a few more. And be cautious. So... Right now, most of the applications are from people from other countries. I want to make another effort uh, to get actually a lot more Michoacanos here. So I need to translate some invitation to, to participate and, uh, and build that up. Also, I like the idea of having more, more people from Michoacan here because they can return. Whereas a lot of the foreigners, they're on their world trip, you know, and they probably won't be back. And so they're nice, interesting people, but... I'm interested in investing in people who can make a greater investment into the space longer term. I feel very energetic today. Uh, we took a sauna yesterday and got nice and clean. Uh, it felt nice and had a great dinner of uh, canned rabbit and kimchi. Uh, so I feel very energetic and, and positive about the day. And Courtney's been fun. She's been here a week. And a lot of that's been talking and getting her set up takes time. Um, but uh, now she'll really, in a sense, be going to Mexico for the first time to, to get some stuff done. Out here in the forest, you just feel like you're in another world. But uh, today, I think her mind is going to be a little blown because, I mean, everything's being in Spanish, and we'll go to the hardware store, and we'll go to different places. So she's going to get to uh, to see how things work here, and uh, <laughs> she's going to realize how important it is to speak Spanish, too. Um, but uh, she's already working on that. She's uh, trying to learn as much as she can. Uh, and it really is important that people come here that they learn some Spanish. All right, let's get the day going. <laughs> 